right, guys, and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm sorry. And welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Let's get back into it. It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. Previously on X-Men. <laughs> This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Okay. Oops. Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee. Available. You ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. You know what? This feels just like high school. Whenever, whenever we break up in uh, groups and stuff, I'm always on my own as well. well that's fine. Uh, we grab a bite to eat on the way out, eh? Get properly fueled up. Alright, let's talk to Woods and Mason. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Well. Some history between you and Fidel Castro? Are you fucking serious right now? Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. <laughs> You seem calm, considering the gravity of the mission. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, hacked their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. You know, we were hunting Perseus in Vietnam, too. No, we were after a different spy in case, huh? <laughs> That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. <laughs> Feels like this Perseus mission began a lifetime ago. Yeah, for Adler, it's a... Uh culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. I'm focused. This is for Sims and Adler and me. Good. Then you're ready. 
You guys are legends. It's an honor to serve with you two. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah, wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. <laughs> Woods, Hudson seems concerned about you. You got a point in saying that? You sound concerned too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. Oh, guys, calm the fuck We're down. just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be concerned. Alright, talk to you guys later. Yep. Later, Bell. I don't want to mess with this guy while he's on the phone. Ooh, what's down here? I can kick in all the doors, but I can't push this one open. What, what is that? What are they talking about? What are they talking about? Nope, can't hear anything through the door. In about a minute, I'm about to... I'm about to interrupt Hudson's phone call. Wait, what? What did I miss? Yamato. Okay, that's the uh, Kennedy assassination. I didn't notice this before. The hell? This is new. Or maybe I just haven't seen, wasn't watching. So that's why they think he's in Havana? Or Aroval? Cuba? Alright, here's my thing about the whole... The whole Perseus thing. Which is why I think it's a little weird. So you have a nuke in a uh, Western European city, right? You just got your hands on it. You need a dude to tell you how to use it and blow it up. Why fly him to Cuba when you could just fly him to uh, Europe and let one off in a European city and then blame it on the US breaking, breaking up that international relationship? Why risk moving that thing across the world into the United States? Just saying. All right, I'm about to interrupt Hudson's call here. Hold on. 
Make it quick. I'm busy. What if we find a live Luke in Newton, Cuba? Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, you're still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Should we have a larger strike team? Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. With our nuclear war at stake, our intel better be solid. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. Alright, talk to you later. The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. Oh, so he was going to tell me about it? Okay, so the dude like flew to Cuba. Gotcha. That's what the nuke looks like. Blah, blah, blah. So. 6.1 meters. So the actual case is... What? Huge? That huge? Why? The one in the... The one in Vietnam wasn't this huge. Why the hell would you risk moving that big ass thing? It must be like the town and villa where we find his ass. Specifically in there, in that building, which is fenced off. And there's a few vehicles out front. Okay, let's do this thing. Go just after the new shit. Incognito no more, thanks to the daring infiltration of the KGB headquarters. The Central Intelligence Agency now possesses an unredacted list of the sleeper agent agents Nikita Dragovich conditioned within the United States in the 1960s. Perseus has his sights on Theodore Hastings, a nuclear engineer involved with Operation Greenlight. Alright, let's do this thing. Yeah, let's do this. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Are we trying to kill Hastings? Adler's late. No love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go!
Do the honors, Bell. Head to cover! Moving up! That's like fucking clockwork! All teams fan out! Defense to the main game! Shooter, second floor! I definitely don't like this guy. No, but we'll work with it. Man, this is like Vegas. For one sale. Got another one. Got that guy. Jeez, these guys keep just keep coming out. like clearing the way like so
rush up here. The goddamn, you know what? About the John Wick the shit. Right. Copy. Let's move. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. Okay, so these guys are gonna be in the way. They've got closed circuit cameras. Right we could use them to Fine locate the nuclear you. bomb. Sharp as ever. to hit a, a trigger. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever. Boy. Spread out. Find that nuke. all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck. Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep for mines. Leave it for another time when I redo it. Incoming grenade. Need to reload. I missed one.
Lovely. This will come in handy. Get on the camera feeds, Bell. Huh. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Oh, Keep looking. Like... There's got to be other cameras. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, let's move. Take it Mark. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, my dumbass. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Pick it up and throw it back. up again. Finding 
Of cocktails. Please, they're shooting at us. No, stay away. Shut. piece of poop. Explosives are getting me. ideas get stolen.
27B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Mark. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <clears throat> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. How many is that? He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low! It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! Adler, we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Us up first. We'll cover. Go. Take cover. Shit. Oh man. Bell. Ah. Ground team. My legs. Contact at T minus ten. Wait. Nine. The harness. Seven. Six. Your ass, five.
Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. You paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. <laughs>